uh, this guy raised his hand and he goes, hey, hey, comedian. And I said, yeah. And I'm thinking, I got my first heckler. And what am I going to do? And um, he goes, and he goes, hey, tell my waitress I need more pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited to introduce some of you guys uh, to this next person who's zooming in right now. She's the winner of the American Comedy Award Comic of the Year. Uh, she's known as the polyester princess, the reigning queen of Southern Sass. She's been on Oprah, Showtime, CMT, CBS Sunday Morning, ABC, Columbia Pictures, and NBC. And she headlines NBC. NBC. She headlines the Southern Fried Chicks Comedy Tour. Welcome to the Zoom Room. Who is it? Anime. That's who. Oh! And she's here with me right now, the incomparable, uh, the polyester princess, <laughs> Edda May. How are you, my dear? John Rape, I'm in love with you. Oh! You know that? You know that? You I love you, that? too. A, no, I'm in love with you. Thank you. Come on, a ginger, a ginger southerner. Please. Oh, yeah, right? Look, look how hot that is. Please. I wish that was the case <laughs> when I was in high school. I, I don't know what happened. Somewhere along the way, it turned into a fetish for some people, which I'm okay with. <laughs> really? Yeah. If, I'd have known, if I'd have known where your high school was, I'd have drove over and beat you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, you would have just been one of many. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I'd get in line. I'd get in line. But I'd bring some. I know, believe be it. I believe it. Where, where are you zooming in from today? Uh, my home in Lexington, Kentucky. I love Lexington, Kentucky. Good barbecue, good bourbon, and I love me some comedy off Broadway there. Oh my god, yes, comedy off Broadway, and I, I would consider it an A room. Oh, it would is. Would you not? A hundred percent. It's definitely an A room. Now, are you from Lexington originally? Oh no, no. Where are you no, from? No. From? I'm fr I'm originally from Arkansas. Oh, um, okay. Well, ask me, ask me why I live in uh, Kentucky. Hey, Edna May, why do you live in Kentucky if you're from Arkansas? Because I heard my parents didn't live here. <laughs> 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 always, always make your parents and in-laws have to pack underwear to come see you. Oh yeah, that'll definitely. Of course, that really doesn't apply to my daddy anyway. So <laughs> I, you know, I think he's a free baller. You know? <laughs> Especially in the heat. Uh, I I've known you forever. I mean, you've you've yeah. won like the uh, from the Academy or well, the American Comedy Awards Comic of the Year. Um, you've yep. been on Oprah, Showtime, CMT, all kinds of stuff. I I just like to yeah. know the origin story. How did it start for you, Edna May? Well, um, uh, you really want the truth? Truth? I want it. Well, yeah, whatever you want to tell me. Uh, my cousin, we were, we were living in Kentucky. My cousin was living in Los Angeles and she was dying of, um, cancer. Okay. And, um, she had the breast cancer. And, um, so I, she was my favorite. She, she was the person in my life that I wish I could have been. Mm -hmm. And she did everything that I'd ever wanted to do in my life, you know? Like she traveled to exotic places and stuff. Right, right. I might go to Shoney's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a great breakfast buffet. Right, right. <laughs> um, and um, so um my I went out there and took care of her for last weeks and she just decided to stop doing the chemo wow. and you know do the ride and you got to respect that yeah. and um she one night she wanted to go and it was a monday night and she wanted to go to the comedy store okay she had never been there and we were going to places she had never been and like like um disneyland and and okay. universal anyway she was doing like so a bucket go, list type thing she had a bucket list, and by God, I was going to get her there. And um, I, when I'd gotten out to California, I'd shaved my head. Really? Yeah. 
And so we we were laughing because we were and and so we were gonna her. go out. Yeah. So we had to put we had to put do rays on, you know. Um and so uh we sat there and there was a and I was it was the first comedy show I'd ever seen, and I was amazed. Wow. I was amazed one at the performers. And there was one woman on there named Monica Piper. Okay. And I don't even know if she's do- still doing comedy, but I thought she was so funny. And um, uh, anyway, just on the ride home, I realized how it had lifted her soul. Yeah. It had lifted her spirit and it had lifted her soul. And the rest of the trip, she was lighter. Do you oh, wow. know what I mean? happier just sort of like floating on air maybe yeah like like this don't matter yeah and there's better things to come yeah and you know and she was a good christian and it's like hey why am i why am i fighting going to sit at the right hand of my father so anyway um she just was she just was happier and lighter and i thought man if i could ever do that Mm-hmm. And then started the open mic hail. <laughs> okay. Now, did you do that in Los Angeles or did you go back to Kentucky and do that? No, um, I, I did it at the comedy store. Okay. They had an open mic night at the comedy store. And so I went back because my cousin, she said, you could do it. You could do it. And it was only three minutes. And it's like, if, if my cousin is dying uh-huh. and I'm going to make her happy. Well, when I walked up on stage, I was pretty much stressed like this. And as soon as I just said, hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> hey, hello. And, and, well, I, I was trying to be more sophisticated. And, and, yeah, well, yeah. I, normally I would just say, hi. Yeah. What's up? Um, but I said, hey, hello. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Have you, is that a thing that you say normally? Cause I, I love that no, way that sounds. No. Is that my get her done? Is that what you're saying? I'm really, hey, well, think hello. about it. It's hey, it's a halo. Hi, it's everything. Hey, I love it. Or hey, love. Yeah, right. On the down low. Yes. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, John Reed. I'm writing that down. Write that I'm down. I'm going to remind down, you. Hey, love. Hey, <laughs> hey, hello. Um, and um, they they start they start laughing and stuff, and um, they thought and they thought I was putting on, and um, and so I just hell, you know, in the South, man, we, we, we're storytellers, buddy. Sure, we tell stories. Yes, and um, so I just told the story about my daddy. And they were they were laughing their butts off, and um and then um a light came on in the back. Yep. And I'm thinking we're we're having electrical trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the light to let you know to wrap it up. Light to say get get off, off the, the stage. stage. Yeah. Well, nobody told me about the light, and um <laughs> and I'm going, hey, who's ever doing that strobe? Stop it. Uh, you know, and, <laughs> right, and right. so anyway, and they, the, somebody had to come up to the side of the stage and go get off. <laughs> and I walked in the back, at the, the back of the room and Mitzi Shore was standing there Yep. and she made me a paid regular that night. Wow. Somebody worked at the comedy store for free. And it's like, when I went back to my cousin's house, we, we were, we were talking and it's like, I got to start, I got to come up with a show. I got to come up with an act. Wow. So, but you know what, John? All I did was just tell family stories. Mm-hmm. I played, I played a, de- a, 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 what's called the Daily Smoker. Okay. Out in Los Angeles. You ever heard of that? No. No comic. I did an open mic night at the Daily Smoker very, you know, very early on. And, um, uh, a guy's, a guy raised his hand and there and they were it was a back room of a jewish deli okay and like and they would have a pickle tray right. on there yes <laughs> yes they <laughs> love pickles like, yeah they love the pickles <laughs> or anything pickled and little onion balls pickled and um so 
uh, this guy raised his hand and he goes, hey, hey, comedian. And I said, yeah. And I'm thinking, I got my first heckler. And what am I going to do? And um, he goes, and he goes, hey, tell my waitress I need more pickles. <laughs> <laughs> That was a great impression of an old Jewish lady. Oh, oh yeah, and, 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 and so That's awesome. I said, table nine needs more pickles. <laughs> you, know, and, you, know, like I'm, you know, I'm doing the order at McDonald's. Table nine needs more pickles. Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right? And, uh, and know that I love you.